All right. All right, action. Charles, just tell us um, what's going on today. All right. What are you be doing? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to orientate and show these uh, all of our inmates how we do the training with our dogs. And every dog that comes in, the first thing we want to do is we want these dogs to bond with the handlers that we put them with. All right, we have a first, we have a primary handler, we have a secondary, and if we have a third, we put a third with them. And the first thing we do is we bring the dogs in and we put them with the handlers and we don't want the handlers to do anything to the dogs for about the first 48 hours of just bonding with them, okay? So they get used to the place, they get used to have them walk around, find out the facility here so they get comfortable, all right? Then when this is over with, then we come in here and the first thing that we want to do with a dog is the most important thing we can do for a dog, just like Picasso, we want to get his attention. And we do this with a clicker, okay? And the clicker, what the clicker does is the clicker will help the dog relate to the sound of the clicker with a treat. So when we, when we get the dog, if I ever get it open here, like Picasso, I'll say, I'll, I'm gonna say his name. Picasso. Okay, he looked up at me. This is one thing we want to get the dog to train. We want him to understand when we call his name that he's going to look at us. Picasso. And I don't want, I want him not to really be looking at me because I want him to see that it's not only the treat. Picasso. All right. So what we do is we, this is one basic command that we keep training with the dog all through our program because they can lose their attention. We do this in a quiet room, first of all. So we have a, we have a room in our facility there that is quiet, that there's no other dogs, there's no other people in there. And this is where we take them at first to get their attention and train them. Then when they, when they do this consistently, we will bring them out to, to our rec area and we'll bring them outside here with distractions to see if they have kept their attention on us, okay? That's one of the most important things. We have five basic commands that we train the dog. Set, down, stay, walk, and come. Them are the five basics. And that will, that will train your dog on the basic commands. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to get the castle's attention and I want you to get him to set. And I want you to use a clicker. Just use a clicker. Because this, this is gonna be for the, for the new inmates coming in and we want them to realize that the clicker has to be used. Tell them to set. Move around and do it again. Tell them up. Stand up. Okay. Do it again. Tell them. Tell them to stand. 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 Sit. Okay. That's the set. Now, our benchmark on the set is if the dog does it eight out of ten times, he's getting the clue word which is set, he's also getting the hand signal knowing that that means set, all right? Now the next command we want is we want Picasso down. We want him to lay down. Picasso, lay down. Okay, do it again. Get him to stand, all right? Picasso, lay down. We do the clicker when he does the command and he lays down, we click treat. Okay, so so when when he does the command, then we click and we treat. 
All right. Now the next one we're going to do is I want you to put him in a set position. Stay. I want him to stay, and I want you to walk away. Cause it's it. Cause it's it. That's it. That's enough. All right. Walk. That's good. Okay. All right. That's the stay position in the set. So we can walk. We can you know, normally walk any place. We can. He can walk out of sight. And if the dog is doing this consistently, he'll stay to the, to the handler tells him to either come or you walk back to him. Just get, get him to stay in a set position again, and I want you to walk away, and then I want you to turn around and return to him and have him stay in that position. Okay. This is sit, stay. Okay, turn, turn around. Good boy. All right, so when he did that, we give him a treat. So we want to make sure that, that he doesn't get so treat orientated that all he's doing is doing the commands on kind of you got a treat in your hand, okay? We want him to do it because he's going to do it for us. Picasso, come. come. Okay, that's the next position. Okay, I'm going to walk him out, and then I want you to call him. Come here, Picasso. Come. Come here. Pa come here. Come. All right, call him. Picasso, come. Click tree. Okay. Sit. Sit. All right, I'm going to do it again. Picasso, come. Picasso, come. All right, call him. Picasso, come. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay, that's. You see, we only call him once. We call him by his name, and he responded just like that. And that is, he is doing this consistently. So this is how we want the dog to do. All right, I want you to get his leash, and you're gonna, we want him to walk on a loose leash with you, okay? So this is the, this would be the, this would be the last command that we give him. Now, it's very important that we walk him, that he walks in a controlled walk with us, and that he's not jerking and pulling all over. How far does he need to go? Do you? That's okay, I'll follow him. Okay. All right, get him to set. Because of sit. Because of sit. Okay. Get him to walk for you. Okay, see, he's walking right next. He's walking right next turn, turn. He's walking right next to our handler. He's got a loose leash. Picasso is walking straight at his side. All right, good job. Praise him. Give him good praise. Okay, so this, these are the basic rules and the basic commands that we go through on a trainee. Now, we want to make sure that the dog. Uh, gets more than just the basics. So we teach them tricks. We also teach them what we call relaxed. You want to show them this is what we call relaxed that we want when we want the dog to, to relax. Because sit. Sit down. To relax. Stay. Okay. You can come up and pet him now. And he'll stay there to the to the handler says that he can give him the okay to come up. This is just, it's, it's another command that we help the dogs understand that we want them to be canine good citizen. In fact, Picasso has passed the canine good citizen test. Picasso's been around here for, he's been around here for a while. And he's a good dog, we'd love to get him adopted out. Now. Once we do this here, we work, with the, we work with the prisoners, we work with the inmates, and they will keep this training going continuously. Even if, we, even if this young man would leave the facility, we would put him with the second, and the second would take over the first, over the primary, and then we would go on. So we keep the dogs training till we get them adopted out. And this is the way we want the dogs to be. This is the last part of the five obedience, and it's walking. 
And what we want the dog to do is we want them to walk at your left, walk with a loose leash in front of you. We want to see how you control them. So what I want you to do is I want you to go on and set the dog on your left side. Come here. Come here. Okay, I want you to walk straight on and then I'll tell you about turn and bring them on back. All right, you ready? Forward. All right, about turn. All right, stop your dog. Tell them set. Give them praise. Good job, good job. That's the, that's the last final of the walking. That's the way we want a dog to walk. That's what we call a control walk. The handler has complete control of the dog. As you look, the dog was paying attention to the handler. And also, the handler was using a hand signal to get his attention because we had some dogs over here that were running. So we wanted to keep his attention on the handler for walking. Picasso, you did a good job. Good job, guy.